Hello, Blake District. Time for a new game today. We are playing In Sound Mind. It is a psychological horror by the uh, people over at We Create Things. Um, I don't know much about it. I know that it is supposed to be uh, like a spooky game. Um, it actually comes recommended by a member of the district, Kishi. So, Kishi, thank you so much for the recommendation. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to expect. Um, so, without further ado, let's dive in. To in sound mind. I'm nervous. <laughs> so this is... The menu seems pretty chill. The music is pretty chill. Um, yeah, we'll do a balance experience. Let's go to that. Uh, yeah, I know nothing about this game. Um, other than it is... Oh, we create stuff, not we create things. I said in the intro, we create things. It's we create stuff. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah. They say curiosity killed the cat. Huh. <laughs> I killed the cat. Why? Curiosity only brought her to me. Okay. So we're on the ocean? Oh. We're in a flooded. I honestly have no idea what to expect from this game. Um, I watched the trailer and it didn't give much away. Uh, it's cool. I like it when the trailer kind of gives me a, a, like a rough idea of what to expect, but not necessarily give me all the beats. Are we in? Am I in? Oh, okay, I'm in. Uh, I'm going to turn the the, uh, the brightness up just a little bit because I <laughs> cannot see a thing. And if I can't see, what you probably happened? also can't see. There we go. Okay, so we're in a flooded town. The How trash room. Get down here. I don't know. Why would I know? Who was talking in the intro? Um. No, oh, creepy music. Ominousness. What is this? What is this? Can I get up there? Climb up there. With this I can jump. <laughs> yep. Okay. Can't get that. I have no idea what. Is that me? Oh yeah, it's me. That's the corrugated iron. Ooh. Okay. Catastrophe. Forget everything. Life as you've known it is out the window. All indicators are say uh, are indicating stay inside. Okay. Well, that's good. Um. So there's been some sort of disaster? No right stick, could be scratch, okay. That is a glowy thing. Ah, that's just a pitch black corridor. Okay, cool. It's locked. There's a keyhole. I guess I need the key. I'm gonna assume it's over by the Glowy stuff? I take it we don't want to touch this. I kinda like it. Oh, okay, no, 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 no. Okay. So I can't get to those things through there. Is there is there a way of like hitting stuff? Do I have weapons in this? Or will I have weapons? I don't know. There's a torch up there. So let me just grab this. Hopefully there's enough batteries. This will come in handy. Okay. I might be able to break this with something. Uh, yeah, maybe. If I can... Break it with my fists. I could probably break this with something. <sighs> See if it interacts with light at all. Oh, oh, hello. I'm not feeling 
so good. No, because I'm standing in goop. I guess it's done. Oh, the workroom. Oh, it is pitch black in here. Let's turn the light on. There we go. And a key to the hallway. And some batteries. That's good. Oh, batteries just automatically do the thing? Probably assemble something here. The workbench is available to all tenants. No outside use allowed. Management is not responsible for any injury you might inflict on yourself. Be safe. Please do not take any tools outside of this room. I'm I'm gonna though. What would I be building here? Is it like a <laughs> is it like a dead rising kind of a build stuff? It's locked. Situation? There's a keyhole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's use. There we go. Excellent, cool. Boiler. Oh, what's that? More batteries. That's good. A gas mask. Doesn't feel promising. Gas leaks are hazardous for your health. If you he smell or see or hear a gas leak coming from the boiler room, leave immediately. Okay. Well, I need to... Okay, well, I need to use the, the, the grate, I guess. Basement rules regulation. Basement 724 hours to residents only. No guests allowed. Building is not responsible for anything left in your pockets and ruined in the laundry. Workbench tools must remain in the workroom. Anything left or forgotten in the basement will still be there where you left it when you come back. A battery. Oh, there's an elevator. Oh, this is some sturdy tape. Some of the washes have been short circuiting. Fortunately, the fuses uh, they use are universal. Stay if they act up, please don't try and fix it. Call me. The superintendent's putting a lot of notes up, but like, thus far, there's not been of actual help. Another battery. Oh, that's probably a wasted battery. I didn't need to necessarily use that there. I need to be more careful with my large electrical fuse. Is that going to be useful for this? It's a fuse box. Oh, no, I killed myself. Oh, no, I haven't. Okay, cool. Okay. We still need to get in here. On the basement, so I guess I'll go to one. This elevator button is oh, I need missing. To put the button. We'll go to two then. Yeah, but I need to go get the gas mask and figure out how to break stuff. Okay. You're a battery. Good to know that you are there. I don't need you in this moment. That Pretty was good because I hurt myself earlier. Anything in room 314? Can't get in there. Room 13. It's a weird numerical system. 314 one side and 13 the other. Don't like that glowy business going on. Nine, nine, nine. Okay, so this makes no sense. That's good to know. No one is picking up. The number you have is anybody even out there? there? Please try again later. Oh, the cat. Is that the cat the curiosity didn't kill? In sound mind. There's a whole corridor this way. And it's gone. The title screen's gone. Do I need to go out? Follow the cat? Can I follow the cat? 
No. Okay, wait, what? Desmond Wales PhD. My office? I'm a doctor. Oh! Hello? Yeah. Why? You try to make sense of your reality and the gravity it carries, pulling you down. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, I can't contain my excitement. You sound like Peach from the Goofy movie. <laughs> An unwell Peach from the Goofy have movie. Desmond Wales. I will have all of you. Please don't, though. I I don't want to be had. Ideally. Oh, it's yes. my tape player. Yep. Don't got any tapes there. Well, I... I came in here, at least. And had a mysterious phone call from a unwell individual. The number you've dialed cannot be connected. What's worth a shot? Uh, not really. Okay, so there's nothing in here. There's a tape player that I can play a tape on. The roof stairs. This isn't the corridor that was there before. Uh huh. Room zero. I don't want to go in there. That doesn't feel safe. Okay, my home. Let's top up. Dear resident, we at Maya Pharmaceuticals wanted to take the time and thank you for your continued support in our company and new distribution center here at Milton Haven. Your health and safety are our number one concern, not just as a company, but as neighbors too. For more information on what Maya Pharmaceuticals is doing in your neighborhood, feel free to call 1-800-MAYA. Or email us with any comments or concerns at neighbourhoodpharma@maya.co.biz. Thank you and have a blessed day. Marketing and community outreach, Maya Pharmaceuticals. Have a blessed day makes me feel uncomfortable. Um, I don't need healing right now. Um, coffee in a bars. Oh, a tape. A white cassette tape. Did I record this? I must have. Well, I've got to go back to my office if it's my tape, but let me see if this is working. It's not. There's a dial tone. Okay. Hello? Emergency broadcast system is on. Cool. I don't think it's going to help me in my current predicament, but. Nice to know I can play the guitar, if I should so choose. Key. Why have I locked the door in my own house? Where can I get in? Is there anything in the toilet or the shower? No? chance. Oh. Okay, well, I just left, left. I didn't mean to necessarily just leave like that, but I can go back to my office at least. And hear what's on my tape. Wait. The corridor's back. Don't trust this. 
It's my tape player. a helpful message. There was just rumbling and then a door glowing. With a high-pitched sound on the other side of it. Geronimo! Oh, good. Yep, that's normal. Am I in Bioshock all of a sudden? There's always a girl, there's always a lighthouse, there's always Tape Desmond. In an unexpected turn of events, it seems I'm the one who is losing my mind. Oh, okay. Why or how this is all happening is beyond me. I'm guessing I'm a psychiatrist. As strange as this is, I'm equally as fascinated as I am scared. Now that sounds like a psychiatrist. Is that a building? Go on, tell me who else is going else. has become unfamiliar lately. What with the glowing People lights? Are, well, I'm starting to see unusual patterns, behaviors. Ever since the crash, maybe. What crash? Like an alien it's spaceship crash? Makes sense, I suppose. My own feelings of dread, of fear, are similar to those of my patients. Okay, so we're definitely a psychiatrist. Or a therapist of some kind. Well, we're a doctor. We're, we're literally a doctor, so we have to be a psychiatrist. Well, we don't have to be a psychiatrist, but we're probably a psychiatrist. Oh, that's the oh, tape! Poor Virginia. I should go over their cases. I need to understand. Something just flashed, right? You all saw that? Something flashed over here? No? So that's the tape. Oh, and it was only moving when the tape was playing. Ooh. I don't know why that's cool, but it is cool. I like it. I don't like this, but I like that. Also, we had a patient called Virginia who died, and our patients are dying. If I can get through this, if I can just keep my mind I focused, spinning. I must stay aware, awake, alert. All right. Okay. Well, there's another glowy door, and we all know I love those. So. Let's just step randomly through it. Whee! Regret? A little regret. Tanya, how? Ah. I mean, hi. I'm having a weird day. Scared by the cat. Everything okay with you? All right. Thanks, cat. Tonya, the cat. Good kitty. Yeah. Meow. I'm gonna pet Tonya again. Good kitty. Makes me feel better about the whole situation. All right, stop turning my light on when I pet the cat. <laughs> well, good to know the building's still messed up. Hello. Do you know how a Rorschach test works? Yes. I show you an ink blot, 
and you sneak your way into an interpretation, uh -huh. pretending to fix other people's problems while avoiding your own. That is a lot of psychologists uh, in general, but yes. Nonsense. Well, there's an ink blot, there's a problem. Try and avoid your problems now. I can sneak past it. I know I can. No, no. Stealth. Stealth missions. I hate him. Turn around. Chase me. I thought it was going to chase me. But it did not. Which, um, did I miss a bunch of stuff by running through there like that? Is there going to be another one down here? More purple that way. More glowy stuff that way. Oh, that's going to be a bad room. <laughs> if you're reading this, it means I was right. In that case, slide, second floor above the vending machine. Barrel, first floor maintenance room taped under the table. Grip, basement, behind the middle laundry machine. You got my back, I got yours. Okay. Maintenance. Okay, so maintenance room is where I'm going to find the barrel. symbol a gun. Maintenance room. Here we go. It's blocked from the other side. Not helpful, but okay. Um It's blocked from the other side. That's not helpful at all. Have to go round, try and get through. It's unrealistically durable. It is unrealistically durable. I'm glad you said it. So I've got to get round that way. I'll find a way to break the tape. Which is interesting. Okay. Um, well, let's try the glowy door. A lot of broken glass. I'm glad I'm wearing shoes. What's through here? What nightmare scenario am I in now? Oh, Virginia's apartment. To our dearest customers, we are saddened to inform you that we will be closing our store at the end of the week. Unfortunately, we can no longer compete with the larger supermarket chains that have laid their claim to our small town. We wish to thank you for your patronage and invite you to our going out of business sale this Thursday. Stay classy, Milton Haven. Eden's Grove grocery store. Did Virginia work there? Is that what made her sad? Let's not go that way just yet. Let's have a look around this room first. An octopus! A very stylish octopus. Look at that. Emergency broadcast. Okay. Nothing. Dearest, I've restored to writing you resorted to writing you letters because you won't answer your phone. I'm surprised not to hear the answering machine we brought you coming on. Is it broken? Your father insists we send you money for the electric bill, and though you know I love you and will support you, I do not want to encourage you begging us for money every other month. You need to find something more lucrative selling your toys is too niche. You're always such a personality. Maybe you could use that to your advantage somehow. Anyway, love and love and love. Please answer your phone. Love, Mum, Dad, and Freddy. I have a 
a strong feeling that, that Virginia never really got that message. Or never really felt that love, love and love. Don't stay in bed. It looked like Teddy was looking at me for a second there, but it was not. Oh, another tape. Linen by Virginia Rule. She cloaks the knife with pretty linen and presents it as a gift. She cracks, croaks the phrase, we pretty women, sending me away adrift. Her dreams are dead, so please take mine. I wonder how she sleeps at night. My dreams are nightmares stuck in time. A linen damaged by a knife. Yeah, I don't think she was doing great. Poor Virginia. Uh, what was that thing that was, like, kind of chasing us, but not actually? Oh, another one. Accounts payable. 808 stitches. Operating room drag. That's $108 for some stitches. Okay. Stuff is unnaturally strong. Okay, there's broken glass everywhere. How you doing, octopus? You chilling? You having a good time? Do you know the secret? What happened to Virginia? Tell me. There is no. I'll let you off on this one. Don't stay in bed. Where's our cat? We didn't do that, did we? It's looking up. Why is it looking up? Why is there glass literally everywhere? Didn't like that noise. I guess I'll take the tape back and play it. This is not necessarily my fault if that happened. Thanks for nothing, mysterious disembodied voice. Let's go back down. Back up. To the top floor. And I'll grab my tape recorder again. Is that thing still here? As far as I can throw, you're a disembodied voice. Also, I am trying to arm myself. For twenty blaze. What was on floor one? Floor two, even. Where was the? 18 plus. Uh, 427. Where was the bit of gun on the top floor? On floor t Gun plus that equals explosion. Okay. Right, but I need to remember where all this stuff is. 
It's changed again. It's 707 now. It's 69. Nice. Um. Oh, uh, behind the vending machine. Under the vending machine. Right? On top of the vending machine. Got a pistol slide. Okay. So back down to the basement to find the next bit. And then, I don't know how we get to the maintenance room on the first floor, because it's blocked. Unless it changes every time. Because a lot of it does seem to be changing. A lot of the time. So this is bit up behind... Stay there. Okay, well that's not, not, not it, but it's behind the middle... Set behind the middle dryer, right? Aha! It's a fuse box. How do I, how do I get in there, though? They all have the same fuses. Okay, so I go down, I go get the fuse, I go put it in the other one, it jiggles out the way maybe? Can't use the elevator until I get it back though. So that's important to note. Let's shut this just for now, just for my brain. Just to keep my brain sane. Keep jiggling. Yeah, we've got a grid. Alright. And now I need to figure out. It's a fuse box. But even if I get the pistol assembled, that doesn't necessarily mean that I can. I can use them, right? Because it doesn't necessarily mean I've got bullets. What does it? Was this open last time? Yeah, it was. It was. I can probably assemble something here. Two bits of pistol down. I need to go get the third. So back up we go. And then I can start blowing up barrels of questionable things, I guess. Yeah! If in doubt, blow up barrels of questionable things. It was. It's blocked from the other side. <sighs> it's blocked from the other side. Let me go find that piece of paper again that tells us where the bits are. And then maybe it will be a reachable place. I don't know that it will, but it might be. First floor maintenance room taped under the taped under the table. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna run this way. 
do have stamina. That's also good to know. There we go. Back down to the basement. I also need to... Oh, I need to blow up the thing so I can go listen to the tape. A gun. I can probably assemble something here. I have exactly eight bullets. Oh, I hope I don't have to use this. Yeah, me too. Ideally, we won't have to shoot anything. But we have the gun, and that feels like a good place to pause there. Uh, so. Yeah, I'm unsettled. That much is certain. Um, I don't know quite what's going on. I'm excited to find out um, who the mysterious voice is. We're clearly a psychiatrist. We've clearly lost a patient in Virginia and maybe others, according to the tape of us that we found. Yeah, this has been intriguing so far. Thank you for the recommendation, Kishi. Um, cool. Well, if you enjoyed this and are intrigued to find out what else is going on, Please do all the YouTube things down below. Like, comment, all that jazz. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Be kind to each other uh, and be kind to yourselves. Because kindness is a choice. It's not always the easiest choice, but it is always the right choice. Take care.